Good morning from Pompulia here in Belo Horizonte. This is the lagoon. If you get a chance, come and check this out. I was hoping to get to it with a bicycle, but I don't see any rentals out here and it's really hot. So I just want to show you a little bit what it looks like. And on this track, people walk, run, jog. This is your little back trail right here. This is the city of hills. This is the city of hills. It goes all the way down there. It would be so much easier if you can get bicycles, but there's no rentals out here for some reason. It's a really hot day. Many people say there's nothing to do here. I've been looking for tours. There's not a single tour that I found. English is not spoken at all. It's even more difficult to find an English speaker here than in Rio de Janeiro. Most tourists do not come here. But Belo Horizonte does not have a beach and many people come to Brazil for the coast. So this place does not get a lot of, get a lot of love from the tourists. Look at this home. Wow, that's a nice house. Actually, it says VIP club. I don't know what this is. It's a, I think it's a nightclub. It's a nightclub? Yeah. Wow. VIP club, guys. Look at this. So we're able to secure some bikes for about two reals. And we can ride this thing for about half an hour or so. So we're going to be riding around the lagoon right there. Good exercise in the morning. We are riding bikes here in Belo Horizonte around the lagoon and it's probably not the safest thing for me to do is ride and uh, <laughs> and talk man I almost fell it's riding and, and, and talk here on the GoPro but just want to show you guys some views here It looks like a, an airport on the left. Hello from Belo Horizonte in the state of Minas Gerais. They said there's nothing to do here. <laughs> It's a beautiful day to be riding. The weather is warm. It's really hot here. Nice little breeze. And just riding around the lagoon. It's beautiful. This is a very beautiful neighborhood with lots of beautiful homes. You know, you got the palm trees. They're not blessed with the ocean, but they're doing what they can around this lagoon. Okay, it's, uh, it's really beautiful and, and relaxing. I just, you know, wanted to point this out to you guys so you have an idea what's around. So, Paulo, what is this statue here? Uh, this is the statue of Yamanja. She's like a goddess from a religion in Brazil. And she runs the oceans, lakes, and stuff like that. Oh, okay. What religion is that? Uh, Candomblé. Candomblé, all right. Candomblé is that famous... Uh, Religion only practiced in Brazil and they have several gods and goddesses. So that's one of them apparently yeah. and, Salvador, uh, There is a parade. Yeah, that is made only for her. Really? I believe that is in February 2nd the day that they celebrate. Yeah, Yemanjas day and A lot of people go there. Yeah, and you see little boats with some uh, food and yeah. flowers. Yeah, people uh, put that on the ocean nice. to make like an offering yeah. to the goddess. Okay. So it's really beautiful. Nice. All right. So this is, uh, honestly, the first exciting thing we've seen here since we've been riding around. You have this beautiful structure and then uh, you have this goddess right there. All right. And uh, you can see the lagoon is pretty big. So honestly, if you want to do some physical activities and you find yourself here 
in Belo Horizonte, this is a good spot. And the bikes, you know, less than 50 cents to rent. You go ahead and then get yourself one of those, you know, bikes, get some water and uh, and just ride around. You know, it's, it's beautiful and uh, uh, it feels totally safe here. No problems at all. A couple people jogging, uh, some people walking, running and, you know, but it's very calm and, Re uh, you know, Paulo is from Rio and he said that, uh, you know, generally a place like this and uh, the equivalent in Rio would be like, what, super yeah. busy, right? If you if you went to Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon yeah. right now, it's gonna be like a whole lot of people. Man, yeah. Here, you don't have like nobody. Nobody here. And you can see the plane is about to land over there. I don't know how many, you know, uh, airports in this city because... Two. There's two? Yeah. Okay, because the one yesterday, we landed about an hour away. Yeah, that was the international airport. Yeah. Oh, that's the local one? Yeah. Okay, all right. So in this adventure, going where we're going next, we're probably gonna, maybe we're gonna grab the local one. Maybe, we have to check. Yeah, we have to check. We have to check, okay. Cause yeah, we landed from Rio and it was about an hour flight. And then from the airport to our Airbnb was another hour. So we spent the same amount of time in the Airbnb than, you know, the airport. I have to be honest, this is not like the most exciting place, but like it's good to discover the whole country. And I don't want to just go you know where everybody goes i wanted to see something a little bit different there's no beaches out here and um you know you basically just have it's a normal small uh traditional <laughs> brazilian town the food so far has been good our uh, airbnb uh from hell check out that episode if you haven't already and uh yeah we, we're making the best out of it we completed the track around the lagoon it was a great exercise guys and now we are returning our bikes we came here we conquered we survived and we're continuing to enjoy this beautiful lagoon. So guys, we are here at Praça do Papa. In English, it's uh, Pope Square. And it's a famous uh, area of the city of Belo Horizonte to visit because it was here that Jean Paul II uh, prayed in July 1980 for I believe uh, two million people right here. You know, he admired the horizon. You can see the beautiful city from the highest point. And then behind us, this neighborhood over here, really nice homes. Coming back up with the you know Uber, we could see like the beautiful, beautiful house. This is definitely a very nice section of the city. And then we have the Corral Mountain right behind us, right here. So if you're into working out, great area to jog all the way here or ride your bicycle. You got skateboard people down there. Doing, you know some skating you can see that uh, you got the beautiful homes you can take a look the mountain of course and then uh, the beautiful cross on this side so guys this is Pope Square let's take a look at uh, the view from here you see guys this isn't like uh, just a tourist attraction is a place that locals come to to uh, check out you know just the beautiful sun sunset you know all these people just enjoying the sunset down the city below beautiful spot and I think one of the highest you can get to I mean you can go higher there but I don't even know if people can hike up there I don't think so definitely one of the most so one of the main attraction to definitely check out here in Belo Horizonte in the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil it's such a beautiful, beautiful place here. Wow. So we live in Plaza de Popa, which is that, you know, big square with the cross where Jean Paul II was made a special prayer here in 1990 for Brazil. And we're going down the hill, guys, and this is a city of hills. Look at these gorgeous houses here. This whole area is like this. And you can see that over there. All these mansions, all mansions over here, all mansions, beautiful area. Guys, these are the homes that you see around here. It's uh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Look at this house. This is where the rich people be hiding. <laughs> this is where they are. Look at that section over there. Look at that. Just beautiful houses. Yeah, they even have houses up there. 
on top of the hill over there. Wow. What a view, huh? They have the most amazing sunset views. And you know, what's interesting here, I don't really see favelas. I know they're here, but uh, right in the city, you don't see them. Yeah, because in Rio, you have a lot of hills. In, so, oh, in, lot, in Rio, you have a lot of hills. Yeah, the favelas, okay. yeah. they, they gather in the hills. In the hills, yeah. Here, I think it's the opposite. It's the opposite, yeah. Here, the, the rich people took over the hills. Yeah. That's the guys. We, we're not sharing the view with you. Look at this. And like the security is a big deal here. All of these homes have like fences. All of them. And that is a view that is very typical in Brazil. It reminds me of neighborhoods in Africa. Like people have barbed wire like above their fences over there. Electric wire. Electrical wire. So like if you try to climb that thing, you're gonna get fried. Look at this home, man. Like, whoo. And guys, I just I just want you to appreciate like how beautiful it is on, on top over there. Like, you know, it's just it's very nice. You know? Wow. We're going to try to get some uh, some breakfast now, finally, after trying all day. <laughs> to find a place. But it looks like a really nice venue and uh, you have an outdoor area there as well so I'll show you guys what the food looks like once it gets here how you like your food so far man? really good really good this place is called Uluru Cafe after going to two markets drive downtown central walk and try a bunch of different places we finally find a place to eat. It's not lunchtime and we're having breakfast and it's great. This is a great spot, guys. This is the outdoor area. This is what it looks like here. You also have a sitting area inside and another one in the front. It is definitely much better outside here on a beautiful sunny day like this one. Amazing. So I'm happy now, I'm finally gonna eat. So on that note, cheers. There's another thing to do here besides drinking. <laughs> is to visit a park in Manga Beres. I'm, I'm having a hard time pronouncing these words in Portuguese. It's so hard. So we're here on the day where it doesn't seem to have a lot of people here. It actually doesn't seem to have anybody here except us. So this is a beautiful park and uh, it's right above the center of the, the Pope Square that I showed you before. That is uh, right above it, very easy ride above the hills up here and uh, this is a good place to walk bike do whatever so we're gonna see what we can get into but uh if you are in uh this city of menace rise make sure you come and check out this uh, this park of manga bearers so guys this is a very interesting park there's like nobody here <laughs> i don't know maybe like people come more on the weekend or something i'm not sure but you can tell like it's, if you have like your bicycle you can cover definitely a lot more ground see they have the palm trees right there beautiful look at this place let's see what's engraved on the rocks this is the guy who invented an airplane oh really yeah santos dumont santos dumont okay it was not the wright brothers or anything like that that people in the united states say that they invented the airplane? Yeah. No, they're full of bullshit. He was the guy. <laughs> Who invented? Don't be attacking me on the comments either about this. If you disagree with Paolo... You're but, wrong. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> so he said, Alberto Santos Dumont invented the airplane. All right. So we're going to be ex exploring here. But uh, as you can see, if you have your bicycle, uh, you want to do some exercise this is definitely a good place to uh, come in and hang out if, especially if you have like a good weekend and uh, a, skate park. a skate park right there too yeah i can hear hearing that sound if you have a weekend getaway this is one of those uh, things you want to do when you come to manage rights in the old greece yes theaters were just like that. just like that it looks yeah. the same right so guys there's something very interesting about this arena here so when you go down there the, the sound actually gets, you know, 
it gets louder, like much louder. So I'm going down these steps here. I'm gonna show you. And my voice is normal all the way until I get to this point. And I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick this up, but my voice, like it makes me sound like a robot. Do you guys hear that? Whoa, like it's very interesting. And I thought that from there, my voice would be also as loud, but it's not. So it's only down here. So when you're here and people are actually sitting on the stairs, you don't have to have a microphone. You can just talk normally and it will just, you know, be all over. The voice just spreads out very loud and it actually makes you sound a little bit like a robot. <laughs> it's very cool, very cool. So this is the theater arena and like Paolo was saying, it sounds like, you know, uh, it looks like a place in Greece somewhere or Rome even. All right, so the driver that brought us here, we asked him, hey, what else can we do in your city? You know, because I'm trying to make sure I hit all the main things for this video of all the cool things to do. And he said, you know what? This is a city of bars. You can go drinking. I'm like, man, you know, I, you ask someone what is there to do in the city and they say, go drink? You know you're in trouble. But I hope you guys enjoy some of the stuff I've shown you here so far. It's a place that many people just miss. They run to Rio, Sao Paulo, and they just forget. Brazil is big and it's so different. This does not look like anything I've seen before. So many hills and you have to be in shape. Lots of hiking out here. The hills are crazy. They have this pond over here with this fish. And some of them are pretty big. Look at this thing. Whoa. <laughs> That's really cool. Like different colors and stuff. So we still have the park. They have this uh, artificial lake over here. You know? And I love the view of these palm trees and then the mountain right there. It's a very interesting park. There's not a lot of people here. So I'm sure you can spend all day here. We keep finding little things that are pretty cool. That is awesome. We're about to get some water. And I want to point out, Brazilians have this system called PIX. The first time I came to Brazil and they said PIX, I was like, I don't want to take your picture. Like, what do you mean PIX? I was actually pretty pissed off because the guy kept saying PIX, 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 PIX. And I'm like, what do you mean PIX? Like, I don't want your picture. But what it is, is that your payment method? Okay. Like yeah, tangerine is fine. Okay. So they basically have a number, and uh, actually I'm gonna let Paolo explain that. So how does peak work? Uh, uh three is set that's Okay. So you have to have you have to you need a bank account here in Brazil. Yeah. And then you just access the app yeah. from your bank, and you have three options for the keys your social security number, mm -hmm. your phone number, mm -hmm. three, no, four, I'm sorry. Your email yeah. or like a random key yeah. that they give you. So you just choose one of them and the, tranf the transfer is like oh, at right the same right. time. Yeah. yeah. You right. don't have to wait or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, so you don't have to look for cash. Like Pix is, everybody in Brazil uses it if you want to pay for something. You know, think of it like PayPal, but PayPal actually think of it like 24 hours or something like that. Yeah. You know, Venmo, all those apps, I think some of them might be, Zelle is instant. I know Zelle is, is instant. So here they're using Pix and it's like an instant payment. Look. Pix. You're here? Yeah. Pix area. Yeah. So you click in transfer. Yeah. So I'm going to put his key that it's a phone number. You put the phone number? Yeah. The internet is not... The internet is a little bit go. slow. Yeah. But you guys, you get the point. You put the phone yeah. number, you put the amount. Now, the amount of money. Yeah. You see? Uh, number, social security number. Yeah. Or even the, uh, like, company, when you register uh, yeah. a company, the company, you, you, you get a number, number too. Yeah. Or, uh, like, a random key, an uh, email. Yeah. So, I'm going to put this. You put the phone number. Yeah. So like the tax ID number. So like businesses and individuals use it uh, for payment transfers. It's really cool. And the money Here, is instant. Transfer for this cell phone. Yeah. So it's going to show some information about him. Yeah. Like his number, some of the social security number. Yeah. Uh, his, uh, his bank. You see? Yeah. Uh, Brazil's bank. His name here. Milton Martins Filho. Yeah. Uh, some of their social security number, so I just put transfer. Yeah, it's gonna ask for my password, and that's it. And that's it. Yep. All right, thank you for explaining that. So, PIX is the payment method here. So, if you come to Brazil and you hear PIX, <laughs> they're not asking for pictures. After the park, we headed out to the Museum of Mines and Metal. 
This is a modern, immersive mining museum that features a replica mine and many samples of regional metals and gems. Now, Manish Rise is known for minerals. It's a beautiful, beautiful lobby here, guys. Like, look at this. I won't be able to film everywhere, but just want to show you. On this side, they have a coffee, a uh, little cafe right there. And uh, some of the expo starting right here, the expositions on this side. What is this, Andrew? It's a quartz. It's a quartz. I don't know if I'm allowed to touch it, but... It weighs half a ton. Half a ton, guys. Yeah. Half a ton. This thing right here. Guys, there are so many different stones in here. I can't show you at all because it's a little bit dark. Um, but it's just, it's fascinating to see all the different, you know, metals that they have here and precious objects. Let me show you these diamonds, guys. Whoever is watching this, how do you compare your engagement ring to this right here? Look at these diamond pieces. Diamonds are forever. <laughs> Man. Wow. Wow. It's just... There are so many different types of like rocks and special metals in it, all from Brazil. You know, Minas Gerais is known for precious metals and iron. And what I'm seeing here, I'm just truly blown away. Truly blown away, guys. So I recommend come on the little stroll, take a quick walk in this museum. You're gonna be blown away as well. You have to come here if you like cheese bread. This place here is called A Padre Quejaria. Okay, this is the place right here. It's known for Pon de Queijo, which is cheese bread. So it's a front street over here. You can see we are sitting right by the street. And uh, it's starting to get busy here. And this is uh, the best Pon de Queijo cheese bread you can have here in. Um, Bello for Horizonte. So if you do come here, do not miss the cheese bread. Do not miss the cheese bread. Hey guys, I met Pedro here. Pedro, so you say you're an English What's teacher. Up? Yeah. I've been what? teaching English for like eight years here in Belo Horizonte. Uh-huh. Uh, never went abroad, so that's the thing that I have to, I still have to do. Yeah. Going abroad for the first time, but not to the United States. I'm going to the UK this oh, year. Why not the US? Uh, I, I'm going to go there uh, sometime soon, I expect, <laughs> but my best friend lives in Ireland, so it's easier. Oh, it's much easier, much <laughs> yeah, easier. Yeah, definitely. And you learn English on your own, or how did you...? Yeah, uh, I've learned English on my own. Now, I study in college. I major linguistics in English, yes. Yes. but mostly I've learned it from video games because, you know, <laughs> when I was young, there's no option to, like, change the language from a game to Portuguese, right, you know, right. the games came in English. Right. I had to learn to play my favorite games. Nice, nice. <laughs> So besides about the Cajo, what is there anything else traditional that people should try when it comes to food, when they come to the city? Okay, I wouldn't say traditional yes. as like food because you have Ponte Cajo and Comida Mineira, Mineira yes. food, which is delicious. Yes. But if you're in Belo Horizonte, you gotta try out the craft beer. The craft beer here is the best craft beer in Brazil. Really? So go to the places where they have taps. Yes. They make the beers on the house. You're gonna love it. The, taste, the beer is really good. I recommend here in Savassi, you have Sava which is like very close. Yes. And Mercado Novo, which okay. is a place here in Belo Horizonte, you should go because yes. food and drinks there are awesome. Okay, all, all right. right, sounds good. And this place is known for the, the cheese, the cheese bread, right? Yeah, it's oh, the, the best cheese bread in Belo Horizonte. All right, thank you, thank you so much. And guys, be motivated to come here and check out this place. It's an amazing spot. Uh, what is the state again? Minas Gerais is the state and the city is Belo Horizonte. <laughs> I almost forgot that. Belo Horizonte. All right, and uh, on this view, guys, please subscribe, like, and share. And if it's your first time, welcome. If you've been here before, I appreciate your support. Thank you for everything, and stay tuned for the next one.